Did you know that the question of what can I do with my degree is probably the most common question asked by students? How can I use my major to help me launch my future career? What should I do if my program is not career specific? Should I change my major? I'm confused. If you ask yourself similar questions, you will be pleased to know that the Career Center developed a program specific resource called What Can I Do With My Degree? It will help you better understand your program, choose a major that would be right for you, and list options you may have after graduation. Here you can find a list of programs offered at York. Even though the discipline you study doesn't always determine what you do after graduation, taking a look at some potential career paths for your program of study can be helpful for giving you additional ideas that you may not have considered otherwise. The next step will be to select a program of your interest. Let's take a look at psychology and potential career choices for those who are interested in understanding human behavior. The What Can I Do With My Degree tab is broken down into three sections. Career options in psychology, skills developed through a psychology degree, and professional associations and organizations. Let's take a look at the list of suggested careers available for psychology grads. This list is not exhaustive. However, some of these career choices may require additional education or training. For example, your undergraduate degree could be a stepping stone to law or medical school, but it can also be enough for you to pursue various careers in community work or social services. If you are then not sure what it means to be a community worker, or you need more information of other careers mentioned here, we invite you to visit the Career Center online system or the National Occupational Classification. Career Cruising is an interactive career guidance and pathway planning tool designed for people of all ages. The tool can help students to explore different career options, manage course selections, and plan various pathways to meet the requirements for their desired career path. For those who are not familiar with Career Cruising, here is the access to a short tutorial on how to use it. The National Occupational Classification website, developed and updated by Statistics Canada, provides consistent analysis of the Canadian labour market, job descriptions, and other important data for future job slash career seekers. You've got skills, but being a student requires more than only attending classes and learning knowledge related to your field. It means to identify yourself with your community and participate in activities outside of the classroom. For example, student clubs slash organizations where you can practice and enhance your transferable skills, which are essential and desirable by your future employer. Therefore, every graduate is expected to leave the university with at least a handful of transferable skills. According to a recent survey from the Canadian Council of Chief Executives, the top six skills sought by employers are people skills, communication skills, problem solving, analytical abilities, leadership skills, and industry specific knowledge. The good news is that regardless of the program you choose, you will learn the first five while at university. The last section provides you with access to professional associations and organizations. Knowing the industry as well as building a professional network are key elements of your future success. For example, if you are planning a career in counseling, you can become a member of Ca the Canadian Counseling and Psychotherapy Association while you are still a student and take advantage of the activities available through this organization. We hope you have a better understanding of the potential career opportunities within REACH thanks to your degree and of course, if you get stuck anywhere along the way, the Career Center is there to help. You can find information about services available at the Career Center at 202 McLaughlin College.